Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here to introduce the topic of meditation. This is going to be uh, the first guided meditation session that uh, I'm going to post here. And uh, this is going to serve as an introduction. It's going to be very simple and, uh, and clear cut. I'm going to go through uh, some steps to make sure that uh, your meditation is as good and as catered as possible for your own individual needs. On my end, why I like to meditate and uh, why it's been beneficial to me, it makes me feel like I am more in control in the sense that uh, I can become the person that I want to be. In a lot of cases, uh, emotions can be very inconsistent and uh, we don't want to be in a position where we are acting in a way that is counterproductive towards the goal that we want to meet. The easiest example could be solo queue. Sometimes we get tilted, which is a emotional response, meaning something upset you in game, your support is not playing quite the way that you want him to play, and uh, it angers you. It angers you because you are invested into the game and you really want to win, but it serves a counterproductive purpose because you getting upset and distracted and tilted makes you inherently play worse, which makes it harder to achieve the goal that you wanted to accomplish in the first place. So this is where practicing mindfulness comes in. And uh, later down the line, something that I've done with many, many players is to first, you take control of your emotions, and then you can reach a level where you can almost weaponize your emotions. There are some scenarios where uh, players and people execute better with some emotions involved, but this is very, very advanced. And the basic level of it is to just practice mindfulness. The first step of it is recognizing the state of mind you're in and practicing the idea of being truly in the moment. So the whole idea of meditation, usually what people hear is, oh, focus on your breathing. The reason this is, is because your breathing is always happening in the now. If you focus on your breath, every breath is unique. You can notice it as you breathe out and breathe in. Every breath feels a bit different. It's very difficult to answer the question, or oh, how did the breath that you took five seconds ago feel? Or to ask someone to focus on the breath that is going to happen in the future. Breathing is always constant. It's like a clock that is ticking. Okay? It's always in the moment. The same way if you look at time, if you look at a clock, you stare down right at the clock. It feels as if time slows down. Right? Every second feels longer and longer. It's because you're in that moment. You're very, very present. The same way your breath functions. You being present can be very helpful in many walks of life. can be helpful in, in arguments with uh, people that you're close with. can be helpful in academical purposes. can be helpful in work. Any type of work, honestly. You could be working on a construction site. You could be working at an office. You could be working at a hospital. Being mindful and focused and not letting your mind wander, meaning that you are focused at the task at hand and you're not letting yourself be distracted by not only emotions, but sometimes even sound. Could be feelings of, of pain, tiredness. Mindfulness is always, always redirecting your focus. When these things come into the picture, recognizing that they do and recentering your focus. So meditation is in no shape or form an idea to remove emotions from the equation because emotions most of the time are always going to be there. It's a question of controlling your emotions, making sure that they don't control you. The key thing to successful meditation is to find your own motivation. I've explained as to why meditation can help you. It reduces stress, reduces anxiety, 
to help strengthen mindfulness and can honestly help you in any walk of life. But it's important that you find your own motivation. It's very, very important. So take a moment to do that. If you need more time, you can you can pause. But we're going to continue now with the first meditation exercise. Take a good posture, making sure your body can expand freely in every direction. Breathing is not only something that affects your stomach and your chest, also your back and your shoulders are moving. And it's important that you have freedom of motion so make sure that your back is not resting on some some backrest of your gaming chair sit at the edge of the chair you could also sit on the floor you could also uh, lay it down but i don't recommend it just because of the things that i mentioned before i think sitting on the floor is, is a very good way to do it make sure that your back is straight and uh, start to begin very deeply Breathe in, breathe out. I like to breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth, but to each their own. Breathing in deeply, On the next out breath, close your eyes and slow down your breathing to a natural rhythm. Scan the room for any sound. Do not chase any sound. Just continue scanning and build a picture in your mind of your environment notice a sound don't try to identify it just move on and keep scanning the sounds in your environment Scan your body for any feelings, starting from your feet up to your head. Any feelings of pain, discomfort, comfort, pleasant feelings. But make sure not to reposition. Just let these feelings dissipate into dust. Just scan move on and paint an image of your body in your mind. Remind yourself of your motivations for meditating. Begin to just think about why are you listening to this? Why are you meditating?
begin to breathe in heavily and when you breathe out, push the tension in your body out. Breathe in and then as you breathe out, notice how your neck, your shoulders, your back relaxes and becomes more comfortable as you breathe out. You're freeing your body from tension. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now, relax your mind. Let go of your thinking muscle. Let it wander. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes, pay attention to how you're feeling, maybe tired, maybe reinvigorated, maybe more at peace. Notice your environment around you. And to end the meditation session, I leave you with the thought that you should feel grateful and proud that you took the time in the day to focus on yourself. In the current day and age, it's very easy to be consumed by the speed of everything. Time is flying by and there's so much information going around with social media and, and news and the constant information that is being thrown at us that it's easy to forget the benefit of taking a time out. So be grateful and proud because you did something good today based off of your own motivations. The key thing to remember when you're meditating is that it's okay to get distracted. Do not punish yourself ever while you're doing meditation because getting distracted is just an opportunity to practice. Whenever you wander off or you think of something else or you're focused on something else, that is going on in your life, that is just a repetition, an opportunity for you to practice. You recenter your focus and you're right back there at the task at hand. The next episodes are going to be more focused on mindfulness training flow exercises and uh, how you can use your mind to your own benefit instead of letting your subconscious take over and create patterns of non-productive behaviors. I would like you to leave a comment. Give me your thoughts. How did this feel? Uh, did you uh, enjoy this? Do you have any feedback? 
As we're going to continue into the next session, it's important that I gather as much information as possible because usually this is something that I reserve and cater to uh, my pro teams. And um, there is already a certain level of understanding. I can explain everything. I can have one-to-one -one sessions and I can truly, truly dig deep and and uh, and cater this to, to specific topics and specific ideas. But there is a lot of untapped power here that uh, everyone can truly truly use meditation is fantastic and uh, i re recommend it truly to to anyone out there i recommend it to to my closest family i do it together with any players that uh, you might have heard of and i'm going to continue to do so so thank you very much uh, for joining me on this journey today Let's um, go on with the next one. Cheers.